This one comes with a little bit of sauce. This is stage two tuned by Wrench Studios. It's got straight through back boxes. It's got some carbon drip in and around it. And it's owned by this man right here. Amra, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much pleasure. for being on, man. Uh, this is your baby. It is my Tell daily. Tell me about it. My daily. Your daily. My daily. She's a uh, 2014 64 yeah. plate uh, from Birmingham, BMW sitting in Solihull. Uh, bought it straight from the dealer for well, 42,000 miles. 42,000 miles? 42. And you know what? Just tell us how many miles it's on now. 92. <laughs> 92 in two years? Yes, two years. That's unheard of in M5 territory, man. Yeah. This is seen as a high mileage now, isn't it? Technically, yeah. Yeah, it's well, been um, yeah, it's been stage two for like well, 50,000 50, miles now. Stage two, 50,000 miles. This is why I needed to get this one on the channel. It's proof you can enjoy it. Yep. The rods are a bit of a myth. If you look after it, service it. Exactly. It's map it sensibly. Yeah. And you maintain this, obviously. I mean, you can tell how well you maintain it because look at this. It's, it's flipping gorgeous, man. Um, Thank you. So it's, you've got papers. This is dynoed. Yes. So for everyone out there wondering about numbers, okay, because a lot of people tune their cars lately, they don't get them dyno tuned. Um, tell me, dyno numbers. Yeah, so this has been dynoed at So Rolling Roads, the uh, the heartbreaker. Um, it's very, a very, very honest rolling road, I Very idea. strict dyno, yeah. Um, so this did uh, 750 on the dot. It's been dynoed twice, and this is 750 on the dot now. 750 on the dot. So this is tried and tested, an actual 750 BHP monster saloon. Uh, there's not really much more to say, really, is there? No. Get in and drive the damn thing. It's good, it's good, let's go. Ow, my ears! he's got to slow down for the bumps. Right guys, you join me in an F10 M5 today. For those of you that follow my Instagram, you'll know I have one of these, bar a rod. So mine spat a rod out after I abused the nuts off of it. Um, but here's a fine example of one, courtesy of our boy, Hammer. So Hammer, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Very Great much. to have you on. We've seen you in a little bit of the other Hammer's video, chasing down the M6, but we couldn't not have a video dedicated to this one. For real, because this is just gorgeous. So this is a space grey yep. LCI F10 M5. Correct. With downpipes. Yep. A wrench stage two tune. Yep. Back box delete. Yep. And carbon fiber drip all over the damn show. Everyone. Oh, and a chameleon tin. And a chameleon tin. Uh, Amara actually kindly put me put my own carbon drip on my F10 uh, before I lost it doing 190 mile an hour. No, that happened. On a, on a private track. Uh, on a private road, I was doing 190 mile an hour and the entire front splitter came off. And I ran over it and it took my rear diffuser with it. <laughs> so now, whilst I'm rebuilding my car engine wise, I'm also having to put in all new carbon drip, which really sucks. If anyone's out there and they've got carbon, they want to sponsor me, call me. So we've got armor in the driver's seat. We're going to see how this performs. We're going to see what it's like. Uh, we're going to drop a couple of gears and we're going to try and disappear. Yeah, it is something special. It's, oh my god, I, I forgot how bloody me that speedo. You know what? I haven't been in mine for a few months and I forgot how fast this thing was. I 
okay, so it's not lowering springs, but it's not bouncy. Nope. This is Sports Plus. <laughs> been unleashed on this F10 to uh, give you my thoughts and opinions and I'm uh, it's quite sad for me to do this in my in yours than you know to be able to do it on my own but uh, thank you for making it possible for me to do one at all because <laughs> God knows when mine's gonna get done um, now straight off the bat there's some things about an F10 M5 that just makes sense it's a driving position it's a commanding driving position it can't be like the boss, don't you? Yeah. Do you often sit in the passenger of your own car? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. There's very, very few people I trust. <laughs> to be fair, you did trust Isan to race me. I did. At yes. uh, Terminal Velocity. I didn't do so great. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go straight to full send because we know this car, we know what it's about. Let's get down in the gears a little bit. You feel the difference with the springs? Yeah, the springs give you a lot more confidence in the bend. It's operated the uh, anti roll bar as well. Yeah, these extended uh, paddle shifters, they do their job, don't they? Yeah. I didn't realise how... Uh... Oh, great, what's happened here? Bloody traffic. Yeah. If you're looking for a entry-level supercar, then let's knock it down, let's go second. There is nothing better than this. <laughs> there is nothing better than this. So it's bollocks what they say about these cars not being reliable. Or is it? To be fair, touch wood, I need to find, yeah. Um, cars had no issues. It's been tuned since 47,000 miles. Have you got intakes or anything? Uh, intakes coming. Oh, um, nice. There's a friend of mine in the S62 cartel who's designing some, so. Is that Cats by any chance? Yes. Yeah, I've seen them. They look great. They look really and they look bloody good value for money as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So those are coming uh, very, very soon. When I link with Bob Point, you know it's not. I think, he's a, I think he's a replica. That's not a V10, is it? That's not a V10. We've got the M5, we've got the M6. We've got the M6 GC. Uh, we're on the side of an international motorway. So mine was a stage two wrench build and mine blew up. Now, nobody, a lot of people said to me, you did say, send it to the nuts. Oh yeah. Yeah, you did I went that. in, I went yeah, in. Yeah. So Ray and Hammond are good friends of mine. And I said to them, I said, listen, if we need a new engine, we need a new engine. Just make this the fastest damn stage two in the world. Yeah. And I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> At the cost of my engine, honestly, it was so stupidly fast. But you know what? You live and you learn. I went in knowing that car, I just wanted to go to space. But these cars, F10 M5s for me, when it comes to value for money, name me one other car that will get you 200 mile an hour for 20 something grand. You actually can't. This is a thing, like, I was thinking about it the other day, like, it is comfortable, really good sound system, it's got all the space you need, the boot's massive, um, you know, ride quality, amazing, even with, I've got um, uh, lowering springs, so h and Sport lowering springs. So it's about 35 mil? Uh, 35 mil drop, yeah, and you cannot fault it. Every, I drive it every single day and you cannot fault it. And it does 200 miles an hour. I cannot wait for my F10 to be back. Uh, but it won't be back for long. Spoiler alert, AMG GT now. Is this extended leather? That, leather? Yes. Oh, I don't think I have that. You know what, sitting in this is making me realize how poverty spec my car actually is. <laughs> and it is really, really quite upsetting. <laughs> Uh, Talking to options, obviously you've got the glass sunroof. Yep. You've got heated seats. Yes. You've got soft closed doors. You've got harmon card system. Harmon card on sound system. You've got the pro nav. 
Uh, you've got the optional draggy, I see. Yes, draggy's <laughs> always there. Draggy just lives there? Yeah, just stays there. Nice. You never know when you need to do draggy. <laughs> uh, the back seats look like they've never even been sat in. They've literally never been sat in. Really? Even the previous owner, he, um, the guy at BMW said, the guy's never ever used the back seat. Now, F10 M5, to be fair, there's been a few reviews on these already. Um, links down below to other F10 M5 reviews. Uh, so we're going to try and make this a bit more of a, an owner review. All right. So you've had this car for two years, you've done about 40,000 miles in this car. Yep. Um, what do you love, what do you hate? There is very, very little that I hate, to be fair. Um, I'd say if I had really had to be picky, um, probably the size. Um, you need also, the size? Okay, I say size, but I mean more in terms of handling. Um, oh yeah, it's not a B-Road basher, is it? It's not. Nah, it nah. can be if you obviously adjust suspension and change springs and things like that. And you have balls of steel, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're on standard brakes? Standard, well, Brembo Plus brakes, um, OEM calipers, discs, everything like that. Um, but yeah, standard brakes, um, standard suspension in terms of strut and stuff. Yeah. Uh, springs are upgraded to H&R Sport. Is it, is it okay? So it's 35 mil load, lowered on the H&R springs. Yep. Is that an I'm to live with? Absolutely not. I actually don't scrape on probably 80% of speed bumps. I don't scrape on. Note to anyone out there putting a front lip on a you know 200 mile an hour car. For God's sake, screw it on. Tiger seal it. Bolt it. Everything. Bolt that <laughs> thing on, man. Because mine was just double sided on. Yeah. Mine's that, got. I think mine's got 16 screws in it. And tape. 16 screws, 16 screws. and tape. Yeah. Well, you know what? To be fair, testament to the to your workmanship because it's still on. <laughs> yeah, it is still, still on. on yeah. Basically, what we're getting from this is the M5 F10 is your practical supercar. Now, that's a big word, supercar. Mm -hmm. Now, I recently went to Cannon Run, right? Well, not recently. I went to Cannon Run last year to Ireland, and we had a choice. We were either going to take my F10, which is running about 750, 800. Uh, or we can take my friend's R8 V10 Plus. Yeah. We wanted to take the F10 because it was just so asbo, pops, bangs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you know what? I'm so glad we didn't because you know what? This is not a supercar. That, that, it's, yeah, it's true. It, it's a muscle car. Yeah. This is a straight up muscle car and you have to understand that to be able to enjoy it. Like, the, I was in the R8 and we were chasing hurricanes and whatnot and there's no way the F10 could have done it. No way. I mean, we were in B roads and island, you know, next to the ocean, straight on. Yeah. Um, and the F10, I would have put this in the ocean within about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. In, in its stock form, it's not. Even even the form that, like, you know, upgraded suspension, things like that. Even then, you can't chase. To be fair, cars I've like never that. driven one, been lowered. So I'm really looking mm. forward to driving one that's lowered on H&R Springs to find out: should I do it? Is it livable? Is it is it comfortable? Um, like how do I how do I feel about that all? So look, look, looking forward to driving a bit. You know what, guys? I wanted to keep it short and snappy to the point. Uh, unfortunately, I'm trying to churn out videos at the moment with not much time between work and YouTube. So we tried to keep it short and sweet. Armour has also got himself a sweet date, so he's got to leave us really quickly. Um, I love it. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Love it. I have to say, you know, we were talking off camera. It's probably one of the most highest spec M5s I've been in. 360 cameras, yep. adaptive bolsters. I didn't even know that they came with adaptive bolsters. <laughs> I, I thought they stopped them in E60s. Yeah, it's a nice little hug when you get it. It is good. It is. You know what? When you're so lonely because you've spent all your money on fuel, it's yeah. nice to have a bit of a hug from the yeah. car. <laughs> um, look, it's a great flipping car, and hopefully this will help kill the myth about them being unreliable. Rah, rah, rah. 40,000 miles on stage two, still goes strong, God willing, it continues to do so. Um, this is F Speed, this is Armour. Safe, bro. That was an F10 M5. Peace!